What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. This time I've got another one from Twilight Time, and it is Blue Denim. So this is a 50s movie, well, late 50s movie, um, about a teenage couple who run into an unexpected pregnancy, which being the 50s, that's a much touchier, delicate issue than it would be, you know, in the decades that followed. So the, the uh, kind of the general premise here is that they're trying to just figure out in general how to move on, how to deal, you know, and cope with this situation. Uh, the boy tries to, you know, kind of man up and grow up in a hurry and get a job to support his, you know, to support his new family. And, you know, the girl is just kind of in an almost state of panic over it, you know, doesn't doesn't really know what to do, whether she should keep the baby or try to, you know, have an, uh, have an abortion in secret or, you know, what basically neither of them know what to do and they're teenagers, so that makes sense. Um, and it's, you know, trying to keep it a secret from everybody, but cope with it at the same time. And it's not really a narrative driven piece. It's more of like a character driven uh, issue movie, as they call it on the back of the case. So that's kind of the general premise here is just they're trying to deal with it. And, you know, it's the 50s, so it's tough. I was drawn to this movie because I thought it was a juvenile delinquent movie. And I love 50s juvenile delinquent movies, but it's actually not. Um, this is not a like a super judgmental movie, even though... Uh, you know, you have these basically kids having a kid that doesn't, the movie doesn't come down hard on them for that. It's a very thoughtful, you know, sensitive take on it. And that's kind of surprising because a lot of movies of this kind are like the hellfire and brimstone type of uh, situation. But this one isn't that at all. It's really well performed. Carol Lindley is uh, probably the standout star here. I think the, the teenagers do a really good job. The parents do a really good job. It has a very believable, authentic feel to it. And again, it's just kind of neat that it's not judgmental. And, you know, a, it is kind of a cautionary tale, obviously, because it's not the situation they want to be in. But it doesn't present it as some, you know, woe unto these people. You know, they're just two young people trying to make the best of a situation they didn't expect to get into. And, you know, how's their relationship going to progress? How is they are as individuals going to move on? How do their families handle it? It's just a really thoughtful, you know, compassionate look at a tough situation. And this is, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, don't, aren't really going to be interested in uh, just a straight up drama because there's not a lot of melodrama here. Um, you know, there's not a lot of the, you know, there's no juvenile delinquent elements. These are pretty, you know, these are good kids. Uh, but I think anybody who likes classic films would really appreciate this one. Anybody who likes looking at films that tackle tough social issues to see how they were dealt with in different you know time periods in the past uh, should give this one a look. But anybody who dislikes a really well-made drama that's well-acted, well-directed, it's got a score from Bernard Herrmann. So it's a really solid movie. I had a, I had a good time with it, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's a little bit slow, but I still think it's really good. It also has really beautiful black and white visuals, which I'll get to you in a second. Uh, the Blu-rays from Twilight Time, it has an absolutely gorgeous HD transfer, just crystal clear, super clean image, looks brand new, the contrast is spot on, this thing looks gorgeous, detail level is amazing, and the movie doesn't have super fancy visuals, but it's really well shot, and it just, I was really impressed with the transfer here. As far as extras, it doesn't have much, it's got the isolated score, which, has, which is a really good inclusion since it's, uh, you know, Bernard Herrmann. And then you also have just the theatrical trailer. It's not a loaded disc, but it's it's really solid. And it comes to where it counts, which is with the transfer, which is absolutely beautiful here. And also, this is a Twilight Time movie, so it is limited to 3,000 copies. So if you're interested in it, uh, you know, make sure you get one before they sell out. Um, that's my review of Blue Denim. It's kind of a simple review for kind of a, uh, you know, there's really not a lot to say about it. It's a very character driven, so it's just something you got to kind of see for yourself. But like I said, any, anyone who has an interest in uh, classic films or social issue films, definitely give it a look. It's really well made, and I really think it's uh, definitely worth seeking out. If you want to read my full write-up of Blue Denim, you can do that. Go to markfusion.com. There's also a ton of other Twilight Time movies, classic movies, juvenile delinquent movies, pretty much everything you could think of there. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch if you want to follow me there. You can also go to Letterboxd, where I diary everything that I'm watching. So you can get an idea of what might be coming here soon. But the best thing you can do for me is seriously just hit that sub button. It's a free, easy, direct way to support me and support the channel. Help me to keep watching all these movies, doing all these videos. And I really love talking to you guys about these movies. Oh, and then, of course, the <laughs> I always feel silly saying this. Uh, but the best, another really great way to support me is to actually just watch the videos. Um, if you're a big movie buff, there are hundreds and hundreds of reviews in the playlist here of all kinds. So if anything catches your eye, please do give those a look. I would greatly appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching this one for Blue Denim. I do greatly appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.